Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light uh, photo quick tip. Uh, today we're going to be dealing with a unusual one, a little known one actually. It's, it's astonishing to me that uh, a lot of us subscribe to the monthly uh, Adobe uh, photographer plan and we get Lightroom and we get Photoshop and you know included in the package and um most of us don't even utilize this little known product and uh what's also best about this product is you don't even need to subscribe to get this product because this product is completely free so the product of course I'm talking about is bridge and bridge itself is nothing new under the sun it's not anything radical but it's a great stepping stone for those of you making the transition from Lightroom to Photoshop, because you guys know that I'm against, for the most part, Lightroom. Uh, because to me, learn one product and you're set. And so you might as well just go to the most powerful product, and that being Photoshop. A lot of people uh, are very scared and hesitant of uh, Photoshop, and I understand that, but that's more of a uh, photography myth than uh, fact and uh, so I'm going to hopefully transition some of you guys over to Photoshop little by little okay so anyhow we're talking about bridge today so here it is it's of course you can download it from Adobe again you don't even require to be on a subscription plan you can get this totally free okay what is it well basically it is a file browser Okay, it is the library module of Photoshop, for lack of a better term. We all familiar with the the different libraries of, of uh, Lightroom. You know, you have your libraries, your develop modules, and so forth. Think of this as your library module for Photoshop, and it displays your files, no matter which folders you go onto. The left pane here is your your folders and you can come in and select just anywhere on your hard drive and it'll pull up the, the photos there. Here I have a folder selected called uh, Safari Photos and I can uh, to come down to the bottom and I can increase or decrease the size of the thumbnails just like we could in Lightroom. Okay, and uh, we have the ability to uh, have them look in a grid, have them look into a the toenail we have them even in the list view whichever way you prefer to work very very similar to Lightroom okay uh, we also have the ability to have these side panels here and these side panels let us work in the various things like okay let's say I want to work with this giraffe when I click on it it automatically opens up star ratings color ratings and then on the right panel here I have full metadata and I can go ahead and work with full metadata of the file. I can change any of the metadata I wish I have. Uh, I could use keywords and come in and uh, add keywords to this photo, just like we could in the Lightroom module. Okay, and if we want to edit this photo, we just simply double click on it and it will automatically open us up in Camera Raw for Photoshop. Okay, so it's really nice. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and just do some quick edits. I'll just do a simple edit here really fast and then just, just hit done. Okay, and now back into the thing, you'll notice that the picture now in the bridge has these little uh, three lines in the upper right hand corner. That signifies that I have performed some type of edit to the photo. So it's letting you know this is already an edited photo. Little nice little feature. Very similar again to Lightroom. So we have all the various things. I'm not gonna, this is meant to be an introduction to Bridge, not to be a, a complete tutorial. If you guys would like a complete tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, or if you want additional, you know, more in depth on uh, Bridge, I'd be happy to make them for you. Uh, but basically, you've got the essential workspace. You have the library workspace, uh, and it changes the way the layout is. You have your film strip, 
which if puts you back to the old comfort of old Lightroom type styles. Uh, your output, uh, this is so that you could uh, do output, you know, three across, two across, make some templates. Uh, all this is, again, is available uh, within this. And again, it's just really easy to use. If you're familiar with Lightroom, you're familiar with this. Uh, your metadata, it will again, let you look at your, your metadata of the files. Uh, workflow. Workflow, I'm not going to get into today because it's a little bit too involved. But basically, this is a section of it where we can build what I would call recipes. Uh, you know, okay, first move it in, develop. Okay, crop it. Okay, tag it. Okay, then export it. Uh, we could record these types of workflows and Bridge would automate those workflows for us. It's a nice feature. Okay, so what else here? All right, so down here on the lower left, you have some, I'm going to go back into the browser here, the Essentials tab, and you'll notice the interface changes every time I change a workspace. You'll notice now we have collections. Now, for those of you in Lightroom, we're all familiar with collections. This enables us to group photos together into a collection, or, or if you like to refer to as an album. Uh, and you can make as many of those as you want. They can be dumb or smart al albums. Uh, so those are available in here too. You can do an export. Uh, let's say if you wanted to turn around and take a take this photo and you wanted to export it, just simply uh, cust drop it on a custom export and now you can export this photo however you wish. Changing the options, where the file is saved, uh, how you manage the file name, the quality of the JPEG output, or maybe you want to use a PNG, uh, all the options. The size restrictions, if you wanted to have it resized, all these things are available if you want the metadata to go out with it, uh, and so forth and so on. So all this, again, is available within the thing. Now, it also has a nice little bit of customization. Uh, let's say that I work in this photo folder a lot, okay, and I want to make it one of my favorites. I can, I have a favorites folder here, okay, and I can just simply by right clicking on it, say, uh, let's go ahead and add to favorites. And when I do that, <coughs> you'll notice now that is part of my favorites. So I can, anytime I wish to jump to my favorites, I can just automatically go there. So it's got a lot of great, great customization. It's very easy to learn. Uh, if you're coming from Lightroom, you almost have no learning curve at all. Uh, but you can think of this as the library module of Photoshop. And it does, it can do batch work. I can come up and say, uh, select all these photos. Uh, and then I could do a, <coughs> I'm losing my voice today. <coughs> Excuse me. I could do a batch rename if I wanted to rename all the files. Okay, I could come up and say, okay, how do I want to rename the files? I could build the, the file names. Uh, however I want them, however I, if I want a sequence number, and so forth. Uh, all that's available in there. So, so it's nice to have these battery tools um, all in one module. And again, how can you even complain? Uh, because it's totally free. So, and a lot of people use Bridge as their jumping off point to open and close uh, photos they wish to edit with. They just simply say, okay, I, I want to work with this photo and you double click on it and it will automatically open up uh, Photoshop's camera raw. We can come in and do our edits. We could then hit open and now we're in Photoshop ready to do any final work we wish with the product. And when we save it, we automatically get updated into the uh, bridge browser and everything is great. So they work together really well. And uh, like I said, I really hire highly recommend if you are going to transition or you're attempting to this is a great way to start start using bridge and going into photoshop to work with your tools all right all right guys till next week you guys take care